Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy17 and um, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about graphics and um, the two major types. Uh, I get a lot of questions, a lot of people call me and uh, ask me about what type of graphic to send me for, uh, whether it's silk screening or embroidery or rhinestoning or making a banner. And um, I think that sometimes they also ask their clients for a graphic and they're not sure what type they should receive. So um, I just want to give you a little overview of the differences between bitmaps and uh, vector art. So um, I'll kind of go over both of those. So right now I'm in Photoshop, and um, when you take a photograph, um, it's you have certain resolutions in it, and also when on your computer you bring it in, you can edit your resolution, and that's kind of like how many dots per inch. Um, so for example, if I go to here and I look at this image, it's 72 uh, pixels per inch. And so if we zoom in, you can start to see that it'll start to get pixelated. And that's what happens when people try to take a small graphic and they try to blow it up. They have a, a picture, a 6x9 picture, or something small, and they scan it in, then they try to blow it up and put it on a banner. It's going to look like this. It's going to look like a bunch of little squares. So what it is is every there's a lot of pixels all the way across that make up this image. And um, at, right now I'm at 700% uh, zoomed in. And so that's why it looks okay when it's small. But like I said, as you zoom in, you start to see every little uh, pixel that makes up the image. So when you uh, when someone wants to do sublimation or someone wants to do uh, a banner and it's all you have is a JPEG, it's going to be a real photo, not like a... a not kind of like a not like on vector vector doesn't look realistic eh? which is to say um, like this is a photograph of a of a puppy and trying to draw this puppy in vector it looks very uh, portrait style and so if you're going to do a photograph you really want to have a high resolution graphic um, you want to take a, the photo in high resolution um, I like to stick with 150 to 300 dpi minimum um, when I blow something up I want it to be really depends on the on the size of the banner but I want to try to get the highest quality in and then I can edit it from there but when someone gives you something like this which is only uh, six inches wide and 72 dpi then it's kinda um, or sorry pixels per inch it's kinda hard to make this any bigger without it getting um, pixelated and distorted so what I want to show you is now now to kind of know that you know you can actually see the little the little dots in here. I want to show you in Corel some um, things that we do and why people charge you to vectorize and why people charge you to you know edit and manipulate graphics. So I just took this graphic off the internet and it's a Thundercast logo and so same thing. If you zoom in, you can see all the little bitmaps. You can see all these artifacts which make it look really ugly. And that's what would happen if we took this little graphic and we uh, zoomed in. If I go to wireframe, you'll see it just puts a box around it, and um, and that's about it because it's real. It's not a piece of vector art. It's a bitmap. Um, but if I look at this one over here that I vectorize, if I wireframe it, you can see the lines that made up the graphic. So the difference is if I take this guy and enlarged it, if I make it super big, super big you'll still see all these graphics that will get worse and worse and worse. On a piece of vector art, you can take it and make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and you don't lose any quality at all. So that's why you know people tell you uh, when they're doing some graphics that they want to have uh, a piece of vector art because we could always right click and convert this to a bitmap, no problem. We can set the resolution, we can do all that stuff, but we could also make it super huge. I can take this and make it six feet wide and it doesn't distort, it doesn't lose its color quality, it doesn't lose any, there's no pixels that make it, it's all kind of mathematical, you know, every one of these nodes uh, connect and they fill up with the color, <coughs> excuse me, so you don't have that problem that you have here, if we keep on making this guy bigger and bigger and bigger, so as you can see here, if I zoom in, move this guy over here, you can start to see all the pixels here, and you can see the nice straight edges here. So uh, what kind of formats do you usually see uh, when it comes to bitmaps? You'll see uh, BMPs, JPEGs, GIFs, TIFFs, um, Photoshop PSDs, things like that. Uh, when it comes to vector art, you're going to see SVGs, EPSs, 
uh, PDFs kind of fall in both categories. Um, Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, Corel Draw, all those are kind of vector based programs. So, um, what you want to take from this is that when you, if you're not real familiar with graphics, when you ask your customer um, to send you a graphic, try to get it directly from the graphic artist, or the don't don't have them go on the internet and right click and save it because it's usually a pretty horrible graphic. Um, you want to try to get the original art. Maybe it's it'll be high uh, resolution at 300 uh, pixels per inch, and you can take that and you kind of mess with it. Um, you can downsize it a little bit. Um, but that's what you really want. You want to get the highest quality graphic if it is going to be a, a JPEG or that. And also another thing I want to tell you is on vector art, if I see this over and over and over, it's not a big deal. I can edit it and save it. When you start to come to JPEGs, um, there's a compression. You know, I don't know if you've ever done this before, but you can say file, save as, save for the web, or save as, and it gives you um, some qualities here. And what this does is it controls how much it's going to compress this graphic here. So it says, hey, the original is 560K, now it's down to 10K. But if I were to zoom in on this, um, it would start to look crappier and crappier and have more artifacts. So that's something that you see um, when you're saving your JPEG. And if you save it over and over and over, you start to get this quality uh, loss in the image. And with the vector art, you can save it and save it and save it, and you don't have that problem. So also when it comes to rhinestoning, um, you can't, I guess you can stone this if you want to drop stones on top of it, but there's really no path for the rhinestone to follow um, versus kind of like this one. You know, the rhinestones want to follow the circle, to follow the head here, the shape, and over here it doesn't know how to do that. So when it comes to stoning, um, it also likes to have, you know, you like to work with a vector artwork. So anyways, I hope that kind of uh, explains a little bit the difference between bitmaps and vector. All right, thanks.